don't look now, but the Carolina Panthers are catching breaks in this coaching carousel. After wild card losses, the Steelers, the Eagles, the Cowboys, they're all staying pat with their head coaches. All three, if any of the three were to become available, those jobs, they'd be more appealing than the Panthers. Those would be added competitors to the Panthers for head coaching candidates. The Steelers. Mike Tomlin had a press conference today. They said they're looking outside the organization to replace Matt Canada. The Cowboys. Dallas announced yesterday Mike McCarthy's going to be back. Falls in line with how patient Jerry Jones was with Jason Garrett. He's going to be patient going into year four under McCarthy. Philadelphia. Doesn't seem like they're looking for a head coach. Diana Rossini said last night that Howie Roseman, the GM, and Nick Sirianni are identifying potential options for coordinators, maybe making some changes there in the offseason. Plus, the leader of that locker room is Fletcher Cox, and he bristled strongly, let's say, at the idea that they were going to move off of Sirianni. Confidence in him if he's also the head coach. Like, any news about, what about Nick? Nick, I mean, there's obviously some speculation about whether he may be fired or not. Um, huh? Yeah. Come on, man. Like, man, he head football coach of this team, man. Come on, man. We ain't. Man, there ain't even no discussion about okay, it. Okay, you okay? You don't think it's gonna like, happen? Like, I don't. I don't got nothing to say about that, man. You a clown, bro. You a clown, bro. You a clown. Paint your face. It's the only thing that he's missing. Man, you a clown. That I've never been hit with that. But man, that's. I don't know how you bounce back from that type huh? of dismissal. Huh? That's already dismissal enough. But then he went back and. Got hit with the, you a clown, bro. He could have hit him with an uppercut. Go paint your face, but decided not to. They're not going to fire Nick Sirianni. It doesn't seem like. The Patriots, they introduced Gerard Mayo yesterday. That's another job. That would be better than Carolina's. More appealing. Super Bowl winning organization. Top three draft choice. In this year's draft, the Patriots would be more appealing than Carolina would. They are staying in the organization with Gerard Mayo. That means here are the six teams competing with Carolina for coaching candidates. Atlanta, the Chargers, Washington, Tennessee, Vegas, and Seattle. Remember, this is an unprecedentedly deep coaching candidate pool. Incredibly deep. There are three, maybe four proven head coaches who could be napping up some of those jobs. We don't know about Pete Carroll, but Mike Vrabel, Jim Harbaugh, Bill Belichick. It seems like that half of those six are going to be taken by those guys, which means who is Carolina really competing with for a job? Who's Carolina competing with in terms of candidates? It seems Washington is looking for an offensive coordinator type. They want to hire or interview Ben Johnson, they're going to tomorrow, in addition to Carolina. The Chargers and Tennessee are going to interview with him on Saturday. It seems that that's one of the coaches, or one of the teams, Carolina has to box out. Tennessee, another one. But I don't know about Seattle. I still feel like Dan Quinn's going to go there, or they might hire a proven head coach, or go with a defensive-minded guy. Carolina's not going to go with a defensive-minded guy. Seems David Tepper has a type in mind that he wants, and it's an OC. So how many other teams are really competing? If Atlanta is going to go with a proven head coach, probably Bill Belichick, the Chargers with Harbaugh or somebody in that same class. If Vegas wants to do the same thing, Seattle, we don't know. It doesn't seem like there are that many competitors and there are a ton of great coaches. So Carolina is going to get a good coach. Ben Johnson's obviously the prize, but Bobby Slowick, I still think that's a huge win if that were to happen. But Carolina. Catching breaks on this coaching carousel this week.